Hello everyone! Welcome back sa ating channel! Pag-usapan natin ngayon ang Proving Theorems on Right Triangle. Pero syempre, let us review about right triangles. So, right triangle is a triangle with one right angle. Okay, so let's talk about the parts of a right triangle in this figure. So, kapag may nakita kayong small square inside a triangle, that means may isang right angle sa triangle. Okay, so let's discuss the parts of a right triangle. We have two acute angles. Asan ba yun? We have angle D and angle S. Then, one right angle, which is the angle T. Tandaan, right angle is the largest angle in a triangle. Next, we have two legs. Nasaan yon? Side DT and side ST. And the last part is one hypotenuse. Ang hypotenuse natin ay yung side DS. At ang hypotenuse ang the longest side in a triangle. Now, let's talk about theorems on right triangles. The first one is the LL congruence theorem or the leg-leg theorem. The theorem states that if the legs of one right triangle are congruent to the legs of another right triangle, then the triangles are congruent. So we have these two right triangles with markings. With these markings, we can tell the given. Angle E and angle S are right angles. Then we have side GE is congruent to side XS and side EY is congruent to side SL. We are going to prove that triangle GEY is congruent to triangle XSL. So let us now prove it. So again, we're going to use the two column proof. Okay, let's start. First statement is angle E and angle S are right angles. And the reason is, of course, given. Our second statement will be angle E is congruent to angle S which comes from the first statement. The reason is, all right angles are congruent. Third statement will be side GE is congruent to side XS and side EY is congruent to side SL. Since nasa given din siya, ang reason natin is given. And the last statement will be, Triangle GEY is congruent to triangle XSL by SAS postulate. So, yung two sides na congruent, they are the legs. Okay? So, leg-leg congruence theorem. Next, we have the LA congruence theorem or the leg acute angle theorem. The theorem states that if the leg and the acute angle of one right triangle are congruent to the leg and an acute angle of another right triangle, then the triangles are congruent. We have triangle EGL here divided into two. So our given will be segment GY bisect angle EGL. Angle EYG and angle LYG are right angles. So, we are going to prove that triangle GEY is congruent to triangle GLY. So, let's start proving again. So, again, we're going to use the two-column proof. So, the first statement will be segment GY bisect angle EGL. Of course, the reason is given. Second statement will be angle EGY is congruent to angle LGY. So, yung statement na yan ay galing sa first statement natin na with the word bisect angle EGL. Therefore, ang reason ay definition of angle bisector. Then, third statement will be segment GY is congruent to segment GY. So, galing pa rin yan sa statement number 1 at yan ang naging common side natin kaya ang reason ay reflexive property. The fourth statement will be angle EYG and angle LYG are right angles. So, given yon. Then, from the fourth statement, we have angle EYG is congruent to angle LYG. The reason is all right angles are congruent. Therefore, triangle GEY is congruent to triangle GLY by ASA postulate. So, ang leg natin doon ay GY at ang acute angle ay angle EGY and angle LGY. Punta tayo sa third congruence theorem, the HA or the hypotenuse acute angle theorem. 
It states that if the hypotenuse and the acute angle of one right triangle are congruent to the corresponding hypotenuse and an acute angle of another right triangle, then the triangles are congruent. Again, meron ulit tayong dalawang triangles with markings. Yung mga markings na yon ang magiging given natin. Ano yon? Angle Y and angle S are right angles. Another one is side GE is congruent to side XL. And yung last given, angle E is congruent to angle L. So, we are going to prove that triangle GEY is congruent to triangle XLS. Let's start proving. First statement is angle Y and angle S are right angles. The reason is given. Second statement will be angle Y is congruent to angle S. Because all right angles are congruent. Then we have side GE is congruent to side XL. The reason is given. Fourth statement will be angle E is congruent to angle L. The reason is given. Therefore, triangle GEY is congruent to triangle XLS by the reason of AAS theorem. Now, let's move on to the last congruence theorem, the HL or the hypotenuse leg theorem. It states that if the hypotenuse and a leg of one right triangle are congruent to the corresponding hypotenuse and a leg of another right triangle, then the triangles are congruent. So here are the triangles with markings. Okay, so let us have the given triangle GEL is an isosceles triangle. So segment GY is perpendicular to segment EL at Y. Then, we're going to prove that triangle EGY is congruent to triangle LGY. So, mag-prove ulit tayo. Ang unang statement, triangle GEL is an isosceles triangle. The reason is given. So, from statement 1, ang sabi isosceles triangle, therefore, meron siyang two sides na congruent, which is side GE is congruent to side GL. Kaya, ang reason natin ay definition of isosceles triangle. So, third statement is segment GY is perpendicular to segment EL at Y. Siyempre, given pa rin yan. Then, from that statement, meron tayong angle EYG and angle LYG are right angles. Ang reason ay definition of perpendicular lines. Kasi kapag may perpendicular ka, makakaform ka ng mga right angles. Then, nasasabi natin na triangle EGY and triangle LGY are right triangles. Ang reason ay definition of right triangles dahil nga may isang right angle sa isang triangle. Then, from statement number 3, we have side GY is congruent to side GY. The reason is reflexive property. Therefore, triangle EGY is congruent to triangle LGY. So, ang reason natin ay HL congruence theorem. Kasi nga, may isang hypotenuse at isang leg na congruent. Okay, I hope you learned something from these theorems. So, don't forget these four theorems in right triangles.